everyone and welcome back so yes we did miss wednesday's upload i do apologize a lot of different things going on uh, so couldn't quite get that one out for you but we do have one for you today which is going to be uh, different quizzes geography based quizzes you know i love this kind of stuff and obviously Everybody else seems to be doing this at the moment. Uh, Geo Peter has uploaded. Uh, Jack Sucks at Geography has uploaded. Everyone seems to be doing the quizzes at the moment. So I thought, hey, why don't I carry along with that? Because I love my quizzes anyway. So we're going to be doing um, two different ones. We're going to be doing the ones from GeoGuessr, GeoGuessr quizzes, and some from Sporkle as well. So I can move that in a bit. Uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, here we go. So uh, 21st century, 2023 rewind January. How are we rewinding January? Did enough happen? Well, I suppose it kind of did, but in enough different countries. Um, former countries, an interesting world, Africa, animals. I'm still loving the fact that this is in alphabetical order, by the way. Um, so we're going to do two from here and then two from um, Sporkle, I think. Um, Christmas quiz, seems like the wrong time. Brands. You know what? Let's do brands. Let's do brands. Let's see how we do with brands. Okay, so 90,000 points for brands. Uh, let's go. Uh, ba -ba -ba, you know the drill and name the logo. I do know the drill. Ooh, liking the music. This is, I'm guessing, what I'm being copyrighted on when I upload this, GeoGuessr. Can we use some stock music, please, so I don't get copyrighted? Or is that I don't have to over... I, I can't be asked to go over your music. Um, can you name the brand uh, just by looking at um, a part of logo? Okay. What have we got? What have we got? That's Lexus. Okay. It's an easy start. It always is. Oh, that's Airbnb. Uh, those of you who know, I travel a lot. I do stay in a lot of Airbnbs, as well as hostels. Hostels are the big one. Hostel World is a good is a good shout if you're looking. Uh, what is this brand? Uh, that's LG. I used to have an LG phone back in the day. Back, back, back in the day. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I know brands. Uh, MasterCard. Is this a bad thing? Is this a really bad thing? <laughs> Especially given I know MasterCard. Is this is this worrying that I know the brands? I, I feel like maybe uh, that shouldn't be a thing that I know the band the the brands so well, but hey. Maybe it, this will go wrong in a second. Oh, that's new. Uh, uh, we don't really have Animal Planet in the UK, so... That is something I'd like with these quizzes, though, is can we make sure they are worldwide? Because Animal Planet isn't a, a very, a very well-watched show in the UK. I don't know if it is in the rest of the world, but I do see on some of these quizzes that they are very American-based. Like, if you're doing, like, US Presidents, like I did the other day, fair. It's US Presidents. But a lot of the questions, like, it's the whole world. The whole point of this is this GeoGuessr, including the whole world. So to have something so based in America is somewhat worrying. Um, that's why it's so good that we have um, GeoPeter doing them. Because, obviously, GeoPeter... Now... If I get this wrong, please, if you see this video, please correct me, Peter. But you're Norwegian, I think. So it's great to have people from, like, I'm not saying get anyone from the UK. Like, just across the world, um, maybe, so we don't have such based ones. Because I don't think the Animal Planet logo is that well known everywhere in the world. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I'm, I'm just, because I don't watch TV, I don't know. Location. Umbro started manufacturring uh, equipment in 1924 in what country? Oh my god. Umbro. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like, this looks like the UK. Wait. No. It's Britain. What? Okay, well, I mean, that that's uh, it's amazing how easy GeoGuessr is if you're from that country. Because nothing screamed Britain more than that picture. That was just obviously the UK. 
I had no idea Umbro was English. I had no. I don't think we had sports brands that were like relatively big sports brands. I had no idea Umbro was British. Well, there we go. Uh, awarded with the years legendary 1958, weren't it? Best young player, Pele. I should have read that. I, oh, I read that too slowly. It's because I was trying to read the whole thing. All I needed really was best young player, 1958, and that would have given me Pele. Um, in incredible player. You know, there's still the argument of whether Messi and Ronaldo would hold against someone like him. But then again, Stanley Matthews, British um, uh, player as well. Same kind of vibe. So, yeah, just, just people out of their time, really. Uh, Nike signed a lifetime contract with Cristiano Ronaldo, Michael Jordan, uh, and one more athlete who? Um, Federer? Who is it? LeBron James. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, okay, TikTok chances are you've heard of TikTok. I have. In fact, you can go and find Up For Bad Gaming on TikTok. Go and check me out. I have barely any followers on there at all. Um, I do a lot of voice acting on, on there and an occasional clip from, from here that goes up on there as well. So, um, yeah. Find the country. I didn't read that question, did I? Because um, uh, is it where it's from? Because that's just China. Thank God. I shouldn't have... I... <laughs> just kind of plugging yourself on another thing um, up. Maybe read the question. That's what happens when I don't read the question... I saw enough TikToks Chinese, so I knew that, but then, oh god, right, well, let's have the waffle. You can tell how much I edit my videos, because you're going to be seeing all this waffle. TikTok is best known as a trendsetter. What brand introduced one of the biggest fashion trends of all time with blue jeans? Levi's. It was a big thing in the 80s, about the same time as, like, Diet Coke um, were doing their thing of, uh, like, lunchtime's here, let's have a Diet Coke. Levi's were doing a similar thing. Very sexual, a lot of their videos. What are these trends in the oldest to the most recent? Okay, so... Uh, trucker hat. I have no idea what the hell that is. Um, flared wide jeans. Well, they're 70s, aren't they? Yeah. Um, fur coats would be the 90s. 20s. Fuck, okay. Um, shutter shades. 80s? Oh, 2010s. Fuck me, I'm not doing well here. Um, High-waisted jeans. They seem like they're now. 1980s. I would argue that all of those can be found at different times. Um, but it's when they originated, which I get. So, fair enough. But, like, high-waisted jeans, that's, that's a big thing now as well. Can you tell I'm a trendsetter in my black hoodie or red hoodie, which is pretty much all I wear for these fucking videos? Uh, in 2003, the mobile mogul uh, Kim and uh, in what country? Angry Birds. Um, Japan? Oh, wait a minute. Wait. This looks British, but that's not. Where the fuck am I? Um, Finland. That was a guess, but a, a kind of educated one. I could I could tell the language. What I wasn't doing there, I was trying to name it without looking at the fucking options. <sighs> TV quizzes. I used to go on them. Amazing. <sighs> Uh, another bird that isn't as angry as Twitter logo. Well, arguably it's a lot more angry. Uh, what is the inspiration for the logo? Oh, oh, I don't know. Let's just go freedom. I don't know. Larry, Larry Bird. Okay, okay. Oh my God, I'm not doing well. Okay, I was doing so well on brands at the beginning when it was just naming what they look like. This stuff I do not know. 
The NBA uh, team does not have the blue color in their logo. Yeah, th this is the kind of question I'm talking about, um, GeoGuessr. Uh, like, the NBA is the National Basketball Association of the US. There may be some fans of bits of it all over, but that's like asking a Premier League question and saying it's a worldwide thing. It's not. The World Cup is a worldwide question in football. Absolutely. Um, but if you were to say, hey, this is a worldwide questionnaire. Here's something from the Premier League. It's not. It's absolutely not. In the same way that saying that something from America that is absolutely s specific to America... Um, apart from occasional games they play outside of it. And you will find some fans of basketball in other countries, absolutely. The same as you would do the Premier League. But it's that's not... I don't know. That just seems really... I, don't, I wouldn't call that a brand. That's not a global brand. That's not a global brand at all. I barely know who LeBron James is, if I'm honest. And that was a few questions back. But I let... Uh, like, fair enough. It, it, he is relatively well-known. Not because of his sport, but because he's been in films and TV. I, it's, I, it really, I really irritates me when we get a lot of the Americanized questions and pretend they're worldwide because they're just not. Um, you'll be presented with two companies. Which one uh, was most successful financial? Ooh, ooh. What we got? What company has the highest revenue? Tesla or General Motors? 2021 it's got to be Tesla. Fair enough. Fair enough. Was that before? Was that was that a dip? Jeez, I thought General Motors died out years ago. I'm not doing well. It's because I'm ranting. I'm irritated. This is what's happened when I get irritated. Uh, what company has the highest revenue? Walmart or Target? Two American fucking brands again. There is no Walmart in England. There is no Walmart in Met in. Uh, Hungary, there is no Walmart in France. What the fuck? Target, I know. No Target in England, no Target in Ireland, no Target in um, Bulgaria, no Target in Sweden. What the fuck? These are American brands. Now, they do exist by buying up other countries. Walmart, uh, buying up other companies. Walmart used to own part of Asda. But guess what? Even when it did, wasn't known as fucking Walmart. These questions really piss me off so much. So irritating. They are not global brands. They are br brands that buy up other companies, but they themselves are not a global brand. Coca-Cola buys up other companies, but is also itself a global brand. Walmart is not. Oh, this was not meant to be a ranty video. Jesus. Um, what company has the highest revenue? Oh, it's got to be Apple. Oh, I don't know. I'm still going to say Microsoft. Okay. It, uh, yeah, fine. Apple at this point. Uh, part of me just thought more people were buying Microsoft, like governments. I don't know. I have not done well on this quiz, have I? Because I got so ranty. What company has the highest revenue? Uh, IBM, because they make a lot of the stuff, don't they? Oh, my God. So those questions were me just not knowing it, those last ones. Oh, that is terrible. <laughs> I would argue at least three of those questions. Not my fault. I'm just not American. Um, but yeah, I, I apologize for the rant. It just irritates me so much when we pretend that it's the entire world. Anyway, next up. This is going to be a relatively long uh, video now because of that. <laughs> because I'm being a ranty bastard. <laughs> okay, what else we got? What else we got? Um, but if anyone from GeoGuessr is out there, Peter, I'm looking at you, my man. Um, help, help a guy out. Um, ba ba ba. Oh, historical trip. Language quiz. Should we do this? The one that I know I'm going to be bad at. No, not yet. Not yet. Let's learn a bit better um, languages, shall we? Um, inspiring innovations. Halloween quiz. Pop quiz. Let's do Halloween. Let's do Halloween. 65,000 points. Okay. So not that many questions, I'm guessing. What are we getting for Halloween? Who directed the classic... Oh, okay. So Psycho was Alfred Hitchcock. 
Um, that was a really weird one. He used chocolate syrup to be blood and used a TV crew to, to, to do it. Uh, which found footage movie was popular in the 2000s? Blair Witch Project. Uh, yeah? No? Okay. When did... I top the... you got to read the end of the question. Because Blair Witch was, what, the 90s maybe, I'm guessing? Because that was the, like the original one, wasn't it? It started it all. Uh, what is Anthony Hopkins' famous character called... Oh, it's Hannibal Lecter. Those questions you don't need to read to the end of <laughs> it. We're doing a Halloween quiz and it's Anthony Hopkins. Absolutely. Nice. Uh, what's the name of the gang? Mr. Oh, uh, the uh, Mystery Inc. Oh, no. Sco Scooby. Where is it? What's the name of this gang mystery solving team? It's Mystery Inc. That is a good question. Oh, whoever wrote this. Oh, it's Scrappy Do, it said. Uh, or Scrappy. Scrabby Doo? Was that meant to say Scrabby Doo? That was a good one because I nearly, because my eyesight isn't great, I saw that and almost saw Scooby Doo. Um, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. That could have been an easy misclick for me. What else we got? Uh, what's the name of this dog? Oh, that is Courage, the cowardly dog. Cowardly dog? Cowardly dog? All right. Da, da. Love the music. In which franchise uh, can we find when... Oh, that's the Adam's Family. I used to watch that when I was a kid. I used to watch the original was rerun. And yes, it was the rerun. It wasn't the original, like, 50s version. <laughs> okay. Let's see if you can tell what monster or monsters related content we're, we're looking for. Pay attention. The images will be up... Will be real up close. Okay. Let's see if you can... Okay, I'll, I'll see it as we go along. What movie is the villain? Oh, that's Scream. I get what you mean now. Okay, okay. Ghostface, yes. What movie is this poster from? Oh, that's Halloween. Okay. Didn't realise I knew Halloween so well. Um, what else have we got? Who is this? Oh, that's, um, uh, Frankenstein's monster. Oh, yeah. It's not Frankenstein! I know it's not Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster, indeed. Oh, finish the quote. Complete the quote from these scary movies. Okay. Uh, here's Johnny. Jesus, I need to see Freddy. Oh my god. Here's Johnny. That gets redone by everyone. Simpsons, doesn't it? I see dead people. We won't say the film just in case anyone hasn't seen it. Actually, no, it doesn't matter because he says that anyway. It's that's. Oh my god, I've forgotten the film now. Sixth Sense. Jesus. Uh, do, do you like scary movies? Hey, Brittany, do you like scary movies? Was it Brittany? Is it Brittany? Something like that. Uh, sort in which order these scary movies premiered. Oh, okay. Uh, Alien was 1970-something, I think, so older. Yeah, 79. Um, Psycho. Psycho was... Oh, late uh, uh, 84? Shit, it was much earlier. Of course it was. Of course it was. Why did I think it was later? It's fucking Alfred Hitchcock. Of course it was earlier. Um, the Exorcist. Oh, oh, oh. Was that 76? 73, okay. Nightmare on Elm Street was the 80s, right? So, f later? 84, yeah. Okay, I got one out of the way. That was really stupid for me. That was... Totally me. I I don't know why I thought Psycho was the 80s. I literally answered a question on it earlier saying, yeah, it's Alfred Hitchcock. And then that. What? Okay, 57,000 out of 65,000. I will take that. I will take that. Okay, let's move over to Sporkle. Okay, so this is a, this is a random one. Um, but because I believe 
Um, uh, Joe Peters from Norway. I've got to get corrected now. I know I am. Uh, but I do have friends in Norway, and I really love Oslo. I thought, you know, I saw this one, closest countries to Norway. I thought, hey, let's do it. So, um, the top 20 closest to Norway. This should be relatively easy, possibly. Let's go. Okay, so, Sweden, obviously. Zero, because it's there. Um, there's a land border, and then Denmark is below it. Then to the west is Iceland. Then to the southwest is the United Kingdom. Um, Faroe Islands. Oh, is it going to count the Faroe Islands, I wonder? No, it's not. It's counted it all as Denmark, which, of course, Faroe Islands own them. Um, then Finland, um, then we've got, to, oh, so the, uh, wait a minute, are they on top of it? They've, oh, are they not counting? I've got, I'm, oh my God, right, okay, um, in that case, Belgium, um, then if Belgium's there, you've got to have Netherlands, um, then you've got to go the other way and go France, um, I mean, if we're going for that, Spain? Um, okay, Spain aren't in there. I'm hating the fact that it's not counting these because of the land border. You bastards. Um, uh, oh, Ireland, if, if United Kingdom's there. Um, oh, my God. Uh, ah, oh, crap. Oh, my God, I'm going to have to redo this one at some point. Um, 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 Latvia. Uh, Lithuania. Uh, Estonia. Um... Um, 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 oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, where, where, um, um, Hungary, because that's just down, no, that's too far, um, Christ, what's up there, Germany, yeah, okay, um, pa, Belarus, oh my god, spell it properly, uh, oh my god, I've got 12 of them, um, uh, well, Belarus is there. Is Ukraine? Okay, Ukraine is there. Um, um, Bulgaria. I've already put that on it. Bulgaria. No, it's not there at all. Um, oh my god, my geography has just gone out the window completely. Where the hell are the other countries? Um, uh, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Um, Chechia. Um, is Italy going to be in there then? No, Italy's too far away. Um, oh, Slovakia. Uh, so Slovenia. No, it's too far. Ah! Oh, Poland. Poland's up there. Oh my God, that's, that's four more. What the fuck are they? Um, oh, Russia. Russia's not there. God damn it, because it's got a land border. That's not fair. That is not fair. I named three of them with land borders. <laughs> this isn't fair. This isn't fair. You can't do this to me. You can't go, oh, well, they've got land borders. It doesn't count. What? Um, <laughs> what did I miss? Luxembourg. Okay. Switzerland. Austria. Liechtenstein. Austria. I named Germany. Hungary. Countries literally connected. Chechia. All of these countries are literally connected to Austria. <laughs> and I didn't name Austria. Uh, Switzerland, okay. And then Luxembourg. Always gets left behind. Liechtenstein. Always gets left behind as well. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I got 16. Actually, not that bad. I got 80%. Average is 88. I will take that. Okay. Let's get another one. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, we are literally unboxing uh, Africa. So we have one minute. This is not going to be fun. 47 countries. Um, I've got to try and unbox them. So basically, they're in certain boxes. And so if, if, it, un if it reveals one of them, it will reveal the one next to it, I think. So <clears throat> get maybe the big countries the other way. I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's go. Um, so Algeria seems an obvious one to do. Um, then Morocco... Um, Libya, uh, South Africa, uh, Zambia, um, Tanzania, um, Mali, Kenya, 
Uh, Egypt, one that most people get wrong as to where it is. Um, Sudan. Oh, God. What the hell is next to it? Um, uh, Ethiopia, but it's already... Yeah, okay. Um, the DRC. Um, Gabon. Now I'm struggling. Now I'm struggling. Oh, Nigeria. Oh my God, what are the other countries? Oh, Madagascar. Ah! Okay, I beat, I beat, I beat, I beat, I beat the average. I beat the average. I beat the average. Age two. Okay, what did I miss? That's Madagascar. I would have just about got Madagascar as well. There, I was, I was zoning in to say Madagascar, but okay, I missed a. F I mean, I say I missed a few. If it wasn't for the fact that um, it was unboxing more of Africa than I'd actually said, that would have been nowhere near. But 87% revealed. I'll take that. I missed six that would have kind of given it to me. Madagascar is one of the obvious ones, but I will take that. I will take that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. That's been a very ranty video today. Very ranty indeed. It wasn't meant to be. It's been a bit of a fun week for me, but I wanted to make sure I keep the content up for you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Hope it wasn't too banty. I hope you had fun playing along as well and seeing me suffer. Um, but I will see you again on Monday for a react. See you later.